Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to another video. I hope you have been keeping so very well. I'm really excited because in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you five vegan meals that I am absolutely loving lately and the great thing about these is that you can also make them very quickly. All of these meals I can make in 15 minutes or less which obviously just makes for a lot of ease and a lot of time saving which we love. And speaking of ease and time saving, today's video is sponsored by my friends at Squarespace who make it so ridiculously easy and ridiculously efficient to make a professional looking website. As you may know I have made and managed multiple websites using Squarespace and I genuinely recommend it, would recommend it to a friend and recommending it to you uh, because it is so easy to use. It's so easy to make your own blog posts, sell your own products, link all of your social media channels and so it's definitely Definitely something I recommend if you're looking to start a blog or a website or just like sell products or services. If you're interested in checking out Squarespace, you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, you can head to squarespace.com forward slash Amanda Ducks and use my code Amanda Ducks, which gets you 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. All right, let's get into the food. And I'm gonna start with the most iconic thing in this entire video, which is this chickpea egg breakfast muffin. Woo! <laughs> so the first thing we are making today is this chickpea egg breakfast muffin which Kara says is one of the best things she's ever eaten. To make this into my Vitamix I put some chickpea flour as well as nutritional yeast. I also then add in some plant-based beef or chicken stock powder or veggie stock powder as well as garlic powder and some water. Then I add in some lemon juice as well as some miso paste. You could also add in some Dijon mustard. To make these, I purchased some egg rings from the supermarket and I spray some olive oil to make sure that nothing sticks. I then evenly distribute this chickpea egg batter and you basically just wanna cook it until it is golden on each side. I feel like getting egg rings off is always such a difficult task. Um, um, I always <laughs> mess it up in some way but as you can see these are nice and golden and that's what we want them to look like. When it comes to serving I like to serve these on an English muffin with some plant-based butter then as well as that I put some spinach on followed by my chickpea egg on top of there. Then I also like to add on some vegan cheese. You could also go all out here and make some rice paper bacon if you wanted to. Then I also like to add some barbecue sauce on top and I am left with this super delicious breakfast muffin. It is seriously delicious. Okay this probably won't be much of a surprise but I am eating a lot of nachos lately. The difference with these nachos is that they are super quick to make and it's basically something that I'm honestly making every week at the moment when I am feeling like something nourishing and delicious but I'm in a rush. So I start by cutting up some brown onion. I also then then cut up some red capsicum. Keep in mind here that you can really add whatever vegetables you would like to um, and just basically whatever you have on hand. I really like doing corn fresh off the cob as well so I definitely add in some of that and what I do is I get a deep uh, frying pan, add in my onion, my capsicum, my corn uh, with some oil and then I fry this up until it starts to get nice and like golden and the, the corn is getting a bit charred. Then I add in some of this microwavable brown rice. This is like the lazy person's hack to getting uh, lots of nourishment in with this meal and keeping nice and full. I also add in some water to soften that rice and then I also add in some black beans as well as this nacho spice mix. You can do your own spices here if you would like to. I just find this to be so easy and quick to make and that's why I've been leaning into it a lot. So I fry all of this up and then I also get some corn chips. I'm obsessed with these vegan cheesy corn chips lately. <laughs> So I pile these onto a plate and then I pile on my rice and bean and veggie mixture. I shared this with Kara. I definitely recommend like I think this is a great sharing dish for two depending on how hungry you are. Otherwise all of this ingredients can make enough for 
two if you would like to make two meals for yourself i also put some grated vegan cheese on top as well as some coconut yogurt as a sour cream coriander on top and then i also add a wedge of lime to squeeze over the top of course super quick super easy nourishing delicious all of those great things okay this next meal is a latest favorite i actually tried something similar to this at a cafe and then decided that i needed to recreate it at home so it's a broccoli and cauliflower salad i start by cutting the broccoli and the cauliflower the important thing to note here is that i cut the florets into really really small pieces uh, for both the cauliflower and the broccoli because we are only going to blanch them in some hot water for like a minute or so uh, so you're leaning more towards a crunchy broccoli and cauliflower salad rather than it being quite soft so as I mentioned I blanch these so I just put these into some boiling water for literally like one to two minutes and that's all and then I remove it I also made myself a tahini sauce you know I love tahini so much and it is the hero of this dish in my opinion I mix some tahini lemon juice maple syrup and some water together in a small bowl to make myself this really yummy tahini dressing this is such a quick dressing to make that is packed full of flavor I then put my broccoli and cauliflower into a bowl as well as some spinach you can add other greens if you would like to I pour over that tahini sauce and then you know I like to get in there with my hands and so that is exactly what I do here I massage all of this tahini through and once again something else I love to do is transfer to a new bowl so that it's as aesthetically pleasing and that's what I did here as well added in some goji berries you could add sultanas I added in some flaked almonds but you could add other nuts whatever you like and have on hand and I season with some salt and pepper and this leaves us with a super nourishing and delicious easy lunch meal okay I know this meal seems basic but my boyfriend introduced me to it like a month ago and it has revolutionized my avocado on toast so I definitely recommend trying it basically what I do for this is of course start with a ripe avocado honestly this one wasn't as perfect um, as it could have been it needed to be a bit softer but anyway we're working with it and then as well as that I have some fresh tomato I'm a Roma tomato girl personally uh, and I slice this into thin slices and then as well as that we are rolling with me loving onion at the moment and I cut up some red onion well I should say I dice some red onion into tiny little pieces then I like to have one piece of thick cut sourdough as we can see and I toast that up and then when I'm ready to serve basically what I do here is I start with some hummus as my base layer which is so delicious I also sometimes love adding a sun-dried tomato pesto I also then smash on half of that avocado that I had cut earlier I top with some of these thinly sliced tomato pieces and then I top with some diced red onion as well and of course add some salt and pepper on top at the end like I said super quick and easy to make but honestly so packed full of flavor and it just makes breakfast feel elevated and like you're at a cafe when you're at home okay this final pasta is something that I have been loving for quite a while now it is really quick and easy to make but has so much flavor and also an element of creaminess to it which is awesome in my opinion to make this I start by cutting up a brown onion of course we know that I'm like obsessed with onion at the moment and then into a deep frying pan I add in some oil as well as that onion that I have cut up and I'm gonna fry this off for a few minutes until it gets nice and translucent then from there I'm adding in some tinned cherry tomatoes you can also just add in tinned tomatoes in general it really doesn't make a huge difference I just like the texture of having these in then I add in sun-dried tomatoes I love sun-dried tomatoes so very much they are so delicious packed full of flavor and then from here what we're going to do is let that simmer for a while and add in some vegan thickened cream I know this is kind of designed to be more like a sweet cream but trust me 
it makes this dish so much better i stir it all in and then i also add in some garlic powder as well as some nutritional yeast for extra flavor and some salt and pepper i mix this together and i let it simmer there for a little while get nice and thick and creamy and then i add in my pasta and of course i start tossing this all together this dish also serves two people so you can make it for you and for someone you love or you can also make it in advance to enjoy throughout the week if you're someone who likes to prepare their meals in advance it honestly looks so simple i know but it is delicious and i definitely recommend giving it a try Alrighty, my beautiful friends that brings us to the end of today's video hope you got some fun and fresh oh and we've got a tiger here hello <laughs> Hope that gave you some fun and fresh new meal ideas to make. If you try any of them, I would love to hear from you. Feel free to message me on Instagram and let me know what you think. As always, thanks for being here. I hope you have a beautiful day or week and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye.